it bugs out how much protein, so we'll be talking about those um, at another time. So right now, we're just going to show you how to actually take your measurements. So first off, I've got what's called a myotape. Uh, you can use a normal tape tape measure, like a tailor's tape, but this thing's really easy to use. It's only seven or eight bucks. Yeah. So um, I picked it up at a GNC. You can, you can find it online. I think it's just myotape.com. Either way, this is meant for measuring you know, muscle groups and measuring around areas of your body. So you'll see how to use it in a sec. So this is the two key measurements. This, this is your Adonis index. So the first is the waist measurement. Now that's taken at your navel, so at your belly button. So, and it's just, it's just like around, and it's not down where you wear your pants, but it's right at your belly button. So yeah, I'm just, yeah, it's a, oh, is it a little cold? Yeah, it's just a little bit better. Measuring tapes sometimes are cold when you just start eating. So the myo tape, as you can see, it's got a little button, and then it just holds itself Hold this up on the body, right? So you don't actually have to. If you use a tailor's tape, you have to use your hand. But the myo tape, it just snaps shut. It's got a little locking mechanism here. And now you just stand at attention. So stand with your chest out, arms down. You don't push your gut out, but you don't suck it in. Yeah. Like this is just how the measurement makes. So right out. Not flexing. Right, not flexing. Nothing. So it's just you know you're not overly going either direction. And this is about as accurate of a measurement as you're going to yeah. get. If you want a good hint, if you have a problem with it, stand against the wall. Shoulders, head, feet against the wall, and then I'll give you a nice pull. That's how your stomach should be, and then just sort of step out. And that, You're not sucking in or twisting or exactly, and that'll give you the like the idea of being in good posture. So that's the waist part of the measurement. Yeah. So the next part is the shoulders. Now this is one that people find a little confusing. Now it goes around the largest part of your shoulder. Yeah, so stand at attention, kind of like standing at a military. You're trying to think you're not, there's no real way to flex out your shoulders, so you do your best, try. Yeah. Right, and then it's half, best way is halfway between the nipple and the collar. Yeah, from, from a height, or we say it lines up more or less right with the armpit crease. With the armpit. Now, can you just do a turn around? This is the hard part. Yeah, and it's got to more or less get across, right across the widest part of your back. And from a visual, and we're a little bit off here, from a visual, Stand facing the camera again. It's more or less at the widest part of the shoulder. Yeah. And that's your shoulder measurement. So the ratio of that waist measurement to that shoulder measurement, that's the Adonis index ratio. And so when we're ideal, and you're pretty much at ideal, it's whatever this measurement is, and the shoulder measurement is 1.6 times larger than the waist, and the ideal waist is 0.447 of your height. Of your height. And that's how you calculate what the ideal measurements are. And that's what we're going to be working off of, and that's how your system is designed. That's how we know which program you should be using uh, from a workout standpoint, and that's also how uh, the software picks um, the calories, the protein, everything. It's all based on these measurements, and this is how you know when you're zeroing in on your ideal look. So that's how to do.